What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to solve problem 7.5 of Griffith's 4th edition. The problem reads, A battery of EMF E and internal resistance R is hooked up to a variable load resist resistance R. If you want to deliver the maximum possible power to the load, what resistance should you use? can change E and R of course because uh, you can only change the value of that variable resistance R okay so let's try to uh, draw the uh, circuit first okay so we have a resistor R and then it is hooked up with a battery with uh, internal resistance R so this is R so this is your uh, uh, this is your circuit this is your load and this is your whole battery your uh, physical battery so, uh, we can combine the two resistance, wherein we can actually calculate the uh, total resistance for this series circuit to be R plus R. So, therefore, by Ohm's law, uh, V is equal to I times R total, or is equal to I times R plus R. In this case, V would be the battery E. Small r and E are constants. So therefore, Joule heating states that the power uh, dissipated on the resistor will be, uh, throughout the circuit, will be equal to I v so in this case this is uh, i times uh, i squared times r in terms of e i squared would be uh, e squared over r plus r squared so this is now equal to e r over r plus r squared and as you will notice that here uh, what we did is we express power as a function of the resistance because we want to know the maximum possible power with the value of uh, uh, what's the maximum power that will be delivered for a given value of r so we need to get this function power is a function of r so that means for uh, for maximum power to be delivered to the load r the so this is an optimization problem so by definition uh, in order for power to be maximized we should take its derivative respect to the resistance which is equal to uh, epsilon squared times derivative with respect to r of r over r plus r squared okay so taking the derivative we now have epsilon squared times uh, 1 over r plus r squared times 1 minus uh, 2r over r plus r cube in order for this derivative in order for power to be maximized this should be equal to zero okay so we know that because this is equal to zero epsilon can be cancelled and there's a common factor between these two terms which is one over r plus r squared so we can cancel this and we can cancel the cube here to mean to retain 
1 over r plus r. Okay, so this will now be reduced to negative 2r over r plus r minus 1 equals 0. So solving this, you now have uh, you now have a r plus r minus 2r equals 0 or r minus capital R equals 0. So therefore, to maximize the possible power to the load, the resistance should be equal to the internal resistance of your battery. Okay? That's it. Because, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay? Very easy, right? Okay. So, that's all for now. Uh, we will solve more problems later. For now, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.